Chrome Voice Activate. I will not apologize for being Chinese. All right, that should be enough. That's good for yeah. the thumbnail. That's yeah, funny. that should. Uh... Are we good? Are we cruising? Yeah, we're nice. Good. Nice. We're, good. we're that, online. That'll let everybody know how how seriously sorry we are for deeply, having deeply sorry we are having televisions. Uh, yeah. What a fucking mistake that was, huh? The, the haters are gonna eat their dang hearts out over that one. Yeah, I should call the Indian guy who I got these for free from and say, you know how bad you fucked me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting shit left and right because of you, pal. I'm f- oh, yeah, I should call him with like a uh, like a big... I should FaceTime him with my head like really big and red and sweaty. Yeah. Go, I'm fucking under the microscope now, pal. I'm really <laughs> facing heat from all... Why didn't you tell me about you this? You fucking bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you tell me there was a fucking patent on putting these in set design, you fucking cunt? Yeah. I mean, for people who don't know, we're being accused of... Basically the worst thing somebody can do online. Yeah. Copycatting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The worst thing you can do either as a five year old. Yeah. Or an autistic guy online. Yeah. Copycatting. Copycatting. <laughs> hey. Hey. Hey, I seen that before. Hey. Yeah. But like you said, uh like you said angrily on the phone when I called you. Yeah. Uh if we had gay boop Funko Pops behind us. No one would say a word. Uh, yeah, if we were in a pile of baby toys, <laughs> like one million other things online. Yeah, no one would say. No anything. one would say shit. Yeah, if, if we were in a blank gray room. Yeah. No one would be like, "Hey, it's just like bar stool." Yeah. Or like if, a yeah, white room if, with two ferns. If we were in a if we were in a blank gray room and both fat drunk retards, nobody would go, "Hey, this is bar stool." Yeah. Yeah. Or if we were in like like a. Like a gay sex scat dungeon, no one would be like, "Hey, this is just like my favorite true crime pod." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if we were, uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> if we were in 2024, being like, "Have you guys heard of PizzaGate?" Yeah, nobody would be like, "Hey, this is my, this is just like my favorite conspiracy pod." Yeah, yeah. So, um, whatever this is what it is. This is what it is. There's bigger fish to fry, and the bigger fish are things. I'm very, is something I like a lot. Which is that uh, a guy brought a gun to our city hall this week? Yeah. Which and and he's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. His I was in imp- because there's always that moment at like when any shooting happens. Yeah. Where there's like the couple hours where everybody's basically like, "Is this guy white or brown?" Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can yeah. I score points off this, or do I have to pretend it didn't happen? <laughs> <laughs> is this an ignore one we're gonna ignore, or is this one we're gonna make big? <laughs> and this guy just kind of flipped the script on everybody. Yeah, because he did a white guy thing. Yes, which is but he ended it by saying "and select alaikum, brother." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he threw like some inshallahs in there, <laughs> but know. he did an Elliot Roger car tape. Yes, which was which cool. I think if you're gonna do a shooting, you need to do a car tape. Do a tape. Do a tape. <laughs> we're trying to. We're out here trying to make sense of this shit. Well, we. I don't. I gotta know if like I like you or not. You know. Yeah. Like the tape is like your. Uh, you know how in like uh, in like art programs you you do the piece and yeah. then you have the essay that accompanies it. Yeah. Always like we had to do those. Yeah. Sure. 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 You, you do the piece and then you'd have your rationale essay. Yeah. And the essay is usually where your grade comes from. Right. It's like the piece doesn't matter so much. Yeah. You it's just the do essay. a little like smudge of yeah blue or something. Yeah, but like, it represents sadness. Yeah. <laughs> the essay is where like the the key, and that's the tape for a shooter. You yeah. know, and the tape. Is like where you get, you know, is this a good one or is this not? Yeah. And to be fair, the guy first of all didn't kill anyone, right? He, it, if he wanted to, he could have. He had an. He had, the other thing I like is that he had a supposedly like illegal firearm. Yeah. And he walked into city hall with one. It looks cool. It's an AK. It was a cool looking gun. You're not supposed to get those. <laughs> <laughs> so he's yeah. like, he's like, first of all, your gun laws are gay. Right. I have one. Yeah. Second of all, your security is gay. I'm in city hall. He hit he hit uh, town politicians with with a I'm in your walls. Well, and just like for once, I mean, we've said it before when people go and shoot like schools and stuff. Yeah, it's like go to city hall. Yeah, we've said this constantly. <laughs> he's and five, he did. He did, and he didn't kill anyone. He yeah. just said, "Hey, I'm pissed." Yeah, he's pissed about um, a lot. I I recall wokeism. Yeah, 
inflation. Yes. Multiculturalism. Yes. And uh, Israel. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and the based. The, the, <laughs> the, the like ba- the big thesis of the whole thing was that he was like, we need to start looking out for each other. Yeah. And it starts by me scaring some dweeb ass losers. Yeah. It was one of the most fortuitously timed uh, shootings for me personally, because I was dealing with a. You were uh, on your way to City Hall. I was I was dealing with them <laughs> over email. Oh, okay. You went um, to parking tickets or something. I got a like a red light speeding ticket because I slid through an intersection. Oh, damn! Like on the ticket it says it's like a sixty zone. I'm doing like forty two. Oh, okay. So like, I just couldn't break. So I like I I came up to the line and I was like, ah, no one's around. I just gotta like. Yeah, I feel like that's the safer maneuver. Absolutely. Well, I should have just waited in the intersection. Apparently. Yeah. So I got a ticket and it's four hundred dollars. Holy shit! Yeah, for for like sliding through a red. Damn. So uh, I sent, uh, there's an email address when you get the ticket. All right, City Hall, you're on notice. You got lucky last time. You're, <laughs> you're pushing your luck, uh, um, um, satirically speaking. Yeah, as a joke, uh, I, it'd be really funny if this happened more often. <laughs> that, like, as a joke. That'd be so sick if he was doing it over speeding tickets. <laughs> I mean, when you think about it, the speeding tickets are a symptom of both wokeism and inflation. Oh yeah, four hundred dollars is <laughs> that's inflation, dude. <laughs> so there's an email address that you can you can send an email to to get a court date. Because I was just going to go and plead not guilty because because obviously, yeah, that's retarded. Yeah. So I said, uh, first of all, fuck you. I'm pleading not guilty and want a court date. Never forget your job is public servant. So chop chop, loser. And then they responded with, um, hello, we kindly ask that you keep all communications respectful. If this behavior continues, we will not be corresponding with you via email. Kindly resend the email again so we can assist you. Thanks. Uh. <laughs> and then a shooting happened. <laughs> Karma? <laughs> and, it, and I'm not going to lie. In my, respond e- my response email, yeah. it was hard for me to not be like, to not leave this guy with an impression <laughs> that like it could happen again. <laughs> if you keep pushing your luck. It was hard for me to not be like, man, I wonder why a guy brought a gun to City Hall today. Yeah. Uh, that's so crazy. Uh, so what I said, I said, dude, you're stealing my money and assume I'm guilty until proven innocent because a computer camera told you. Sorry, I find this a bit tr- tough to treat as serious and uh, and a professional matter. The city is the city and its infrastructure is designed to steal my money. Sorry, I don't have my tie straight and my shoes polished. Can I pretty please have a court date to get out of paying four hundred dollars because the city was late on getting gravel out on icy roads? I would be so grateful and excited to waste my time trying to dodge a shakedown. Hope this email finds you better. And then he yeah. said that my email address is blocked. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you tried to play their game. So it's like this is, and then it's like, and yeah. all just as a side note, yeah, they've not been doing shit for the like roads no the roads were like insane yeah it, it was, was like, like covered in loose snow yeah and ice yeah yeah it's a fucking wreck yeah so it was really hard in all those emails to not be like wow wow man i wonder what what made what blocked. radicalized this guy well i mean if you're getting blocked does that mean like you don't have to pay anymore is that how that works i should well i have an <laughs> alternate email i might send be like hey you blocked my other one i hope that means that the ticket's canceled yeah that means I don't have to pay, right? I guess that you should send a picture of yourself, like, um, shirtless, <laughs> with your hands, like, wrapped. Yeah. And, and be like, guess I'm coming in person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my email's blocked? Guess that means I'll have to show up in person. <laughs> cool. What's your What's your address? Yeah. Cool, man. What cubicle are you in? Yeah, with a big, like, sword. <laughs> yeah. Cool, dude. What cubicle do you work in? Okay, you're blocking my email. I'll come down and talk to you. Yeah. What cubicle do you work in? And it's me with a like, cartoon style, like big mallet. <laughs> <laughs> I've got like a huge mallet with a target on the face of it. Cool, man. Yeah. Where do you work? Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. I wonder if that guy got radicalized by parking tickets. I was thinking about it. Yeah. I was thinking about because that guy got me thinking. That hero, first of all, to our boy. No. Um. Like radicalization, it 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 really does happen from like being like hold music. It doesn't happen from like fringe internet groups, really. Yeah, being radicalized comes from being like being being radicalized comes from being like fined and getting like uh, criminalized. Being like a normal guy, and then mm-hmm. like if you can't pay a four hundred dollar ticket, you <sighs> you are not allowed to like re-register your car, which further criminalizes you. Damn. Yeah. So you're kind of going through your Joker one bad day right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if I didn't already have uh, an inter- an altercation, a very negative interaction with the police uh, because of me being too crazy on email, uh, I would be sending crazier stuff. Have I told you about the 
the time they like the reason I, I'm not allowed to get a gun for the next seven years. Wasn't that you a debt collector? <clears throat> That was also <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't with the cops, so they didn't call the cops. Oh, okay. Uh, the debt collector, I used to just leave voicemails, being like, "Wee, oh, I don't have my two hundred dollars." Wee. Wait, what's the one with the cops? Then I don't think I've heard this. Uh, it was because I owe the CRA, like the Canada Revenue Agency, like six hundred dollars. Right, I owe them over a thousand. Yeah, uh, everyone owes them money. <laughs> yeah, they're never gonna get it, dude. <laughs> if there's any CRA agents watching, you're gay. Don't listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> you're a fucking loser. If yeah. there's any CRA agents watching, uh, I don't have a mallet <laughs> but i could <laughs> i could get a mallet i could get one if you keep pushing your pushing it so they sent me like an email asking like uh reminding me of my debt and yeah. i thought it was like a bot i do this, this is like a bit i do on stage now yeah uh, but I, I thought it was like a robot email like an automatic one so i replied to it and i was i literally put the middle finger <laughs> and i was like nah <laughs> no you ain't gonna get that when they called the police no so nothing happened so i would get them like every week yeah uh for like i've been i had been getting them for like almost like four months like every week an email and I would reply to it because I thought it was funny and yeah. I would attach like pictures and shit <laughs> I sent like a picture of a guy crying and I was like this is you guys right now <laughs> lol <laughs> like, I was doing it constantly yeah. and in one of the emails I was just like I'm never gonna pay the money I'll just kill myself instead yeah, and oh. they called the cops. Oh, and yeah. you got like a wellness check. Yeah, where they tased you and shit. Yeah, they well, <laughs> they called me on my phone, and they were like, it was like a blocked number, and they were like, "Are you gonna kill yourself?" And I was yeah. like, "What? No, what are you talking about?" And then I had to go, like, talk to a cop, and he was like, "Did you send this email?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I was, I literally told him, I was like, "Dude, I was joking." <laughs> I was like, "Dude, I was kidding around." <laughs> Yeah, it was just horsing around. I, I was like, dude, I sent them like sixty emails. It would have like, been so. F- it would have been sick if you'd included a bunch of like nudes of yourself in there. <laughs> <laughs> like, did you send this email, son? <laughs> like, yeah. is, this your, is this your penis? <laughs> <laughs> Part of me wanted to ask, like, how many of the emails do you have? Like, I sent some really funny <laughs> shit in those. <laughs> I was like, horsing around constantly. Yeah. And uh, yeah, they. Uh, so yeah, that I have like an on record like suicide threat, which is something they scan for when they, uh, when you Damn. apply for a gun license. So City Hall just dodged a. Dodged a metaphorical and literal bullet. Well, had they had the CRA not called the cops on me, I would have yeah. used my like one goof around to send like a crazy thing to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you're on like a list now, I guess. Eh? Uh, mm-hmm. I don't think I'm on a. I just think like on my like police record or whatever. I have like a wellness check was performed, hmm. which means that if I were to get a gun, that like Nick McQuick was telling me one of the questions is like, have you tried to? Do you have? Uh, have you ever like tried to take your life in the last like seven years? I see. And they're gonna see that and be like, "Yes, <laughs> it's on record." <laughs> but I was kidding, because it's a funny yeah. thing to say to the CRA, which is that uh, I'll kill myself and you'll never get the six hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking definitely. About, I would, <laughs> <laughs> the other thing is like it that's, was that's for, funny. Imagining just some guy at the CRA getting all of these and just being like, <laughs> <laughs> calling the cops, <laughs> literally calling the police. Yeah, calling the co- like I, the, whoever did that, uh, you're gay. Yeah, you're a big gay dork. It was also from an email. Like the, it got to them so late. Like the when I sent it, it was like nine weeks old. Oh, <laughs> so yeah. when I told the cop, I was like, dude, like look at the date on the email. Like it's yeah, I'm obviously fine. Yeah, like the email was from forever ago. Damn, what the cops say? He was kind of chill about it. Yeah, he was like, no, I get it, dude, but you can't be saying that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. He was like, no, I understand it's frustrating, bro, but like, no, you definitely can't say that kind of stuff. Yeah. So that's the line. You can't threaten to kill yourself. You can say all the other stuff I said to them. Yeah. You can send them, like, PMV shots and... <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, pictures of some, you with a big mallet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. So City Hall... Because this, the city, the CRA really saved City Hall from a, a very... Uh, yeah, a two, fun email. two in one week. Yeah. Well, I would have sent a very good email. What's kind of embarrassing for the City Hall guy is that he got, like, owned by an unarmed security guard. Yes. Which, um, well, uh, to me, I think, well, because the fact that he didn't kill anyone, yeah, and he was in there with an AK and allegedly a Molotov, yeah, tells me that, like, he's trying to make a statement, yeah, if he wanted to, he definitely could have, yeah, you know, yeah, statement against inflation (laughs) and (laughs) also wokeism, take that, inflation and (laughs) wokeism. (laughs) (laughs) But to me, what I do like about him, though, is like he's a guy who was pissed and did something about it, yeah, which I like. Yeah, I do like that. Yeah, and uh, he'll probably go to jail forever. Yeah, I don't 
a while, yeah. Maybe, Maybe he'll just not get forever. a four hundred dollar fine. Yeah, that'd be <laughs> sick. Gonna fine him. <laughs> <laughs> well, if he was a sex offender, the city would just be like, uh, "He's gonna go to jail for two weeks, and then we're gonna <laughs> send him back into the community." Yeah, I feel like every couple weeks, the Edmonton police put out like a Twitter alert, like <laughs> we are releasing a dangerous <laughs> sexual psychopath. Like, <laughs> be on alert. <laughs> yeah, watch out. <laughs> we're releasing a uh, Chimo Rapo the clown. Into yeah, the, into the city. So keep keep an eye out, everybody. We've Watch held out. him for two weeks, <laughs> and now there's nothing we can do. So. There's nothing we can do. So he's got to go back, and uh, yeah, he does live near a school. Yeah, yeah, that happens constantly. Yeah. So maybe maybe if you just said, guys, I'm a sex offender, <laughs> he'll get out really quick. Guys, I'm actually a pedophile. <laughs> he'll be like, oh, okay, you can go. Yeah, send a follow up email. <laughs> like I noticed you didn't respond. Maybe this will change your tune. I'm a pedophile. I'm actually a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> What if I told? <laughs> I wish she didn't. I wish they didn't block me. Yeah. So I have to use one of my alt emails and email the same thing. Are you gonna pay it? No, fuck no, absolutely not. Uh, no chance. Uh, I just won't have register my car. Oh, okay. And then when the cop yeah. uh, pulls me over, I'll go. I'm a pedophile. Yeah. <laughs> just, just so you know, I'm a pedo. So you gotta let me go. <laughs> Legally, you gotta let me go. I was planning on like, uh, just because the city has become Gotham lately. Like, there's constant violence and uh robberies yeah i was planning on like having a bunch of those headlines like screenshotted for the next time i get pulled over yeah so it could be like license and registration please and then i could be like oh beheading at a bus station oh a bank robbery oh a single mom was shot on yeah. the train sorry sir am i wasting your time right now like india there's like a uh, indian guy extortion ring that's burning down a bunch of houses that rules like, yeah masterminded <laughs> by some guy in india <laughs> Which is to, really sick. As a guy who's worked in in, in the, like that yeah. industry, like the new home building, uh, that rules because those yeah. places suck dick. I just like to imagine what that guy's like. Cool. He's yeah. Morpheus from the Matrix, but Indian. <laughs> imagining a really like round guy <laughs> who's got like uh, like a whole house that like sits on top of a sky rise, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> but it's just like a normal giant mansion. Yeah, that, like, you know, sticks out at the sides yeah. on the top of a skyscraper. <laughs> I like, like to imagine. Okay, you will burn down that house. You know the like drone cam or like the AC one hundred and thirty like remote cameras. Yeah, I like to imagine he has that, but for piloting like Indian guys with firebombs. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So he's like, <laughs> he's like watching, and he's like, attack, attack, button it down, go down, go and down. Then, and Gurmesh throws the Molotov at the house and burns it down. Actually, I was thinking the other day because I watched um, um, Casino Royale. Oh yeah. Um. And I was just thinking about the new James Bond. Right. And uh, what I would do if I was like Mr. Broccoli. Yeah. Who runs the James Bond movie franchise. Right. I, I was thinking like a, a really sick version. Yeah. Would be to have, um, that would like piss off everybody. <laughs> is you have, um, instead of James Bond, you have Jagneesh Bondy. <laughs> And he's like uh, Jagmeet Bondi. <laughs> Jagmeet Jagneesh, I mm, was thinking, but mm. could be Jagmeet too. That's fine. Um, and he's like a short, balding, pot-bellied Indian guy <laughs> who wears a tuxedo and like goes around in parties to like every woman. Like, you look very horny tonight. <laughs> 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 you are looking very horny tonight, my darling. <laughs> But then he does all the same, like, six stunts and stuff. Like yeah. Like, parkour <laughs> chases <laughs> and stuff like that. It's a very clearly, like, a white jacked stunt guy in this game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a black guy. Yeah, doing doing all the crazy parkour. <laughs> you look very horny. <laughs> <laughs> but he shot, like, a, like a Rajmuli hero. Yeah. So it's all, like, wind blowing. Yeah, <laughs> the pan, like... Super <laughs> intense, like dollies past his like jacked body in the wind. Yeah, his wind blows his like little three comb over <laughs> strands up in the air. <laughs> you look very horny. <laughs> you are looking very horny tonight, my darling. <laughs> <laughs> and the ladies like love it. Yeah, like, yeah. The ladies are like, <laughs> they're, they're, they they play like the cool the cool Bond chick who's like, meet me at my. It's like a it's like a beautiful black woman. Yeah, with, like a big fro. <laughs> you are looking very horny tonight. <laughs> <laughs> that's really good Yeah that's my James Bond idea <laughs> Jake Nish Bondy <laughs> That's really good Yeah Yeah you, Dude you were looking horny Is so funny <laughs> That's like That's such an accurate Recreation of like Indian game <laughs> You are looking so horny tonight My sweet princess <laughs> I, uh, Oh man that's really good 
Like a, I'd like a nice. Yeah. Hopefully, <coughs> this will manifest that into happening. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because James Bond is like, um, well, it's. It, I've always thought it's like it's more fucked up. You know, when when they're like, we need to make this character like black or something. It's like, yeah. isn't that more racist to be like, okay, we're done with it. You can have it now. Yeah. But like, if you're gonna like make him another race, yeah, fully don't make it like a black guy playing a white guy. Yeah. You know, make it fully that. But I feel like as a British, since he's British, I assume they'll keep that. An Indian guy would make more sense. Yeah, they have a huge history with the British. Yeah. Yeah, you <laughs> <laughs> You look very ovulating tonight, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, another idea, like, I think it would be cool if they said it in, like, the 60s, make mm-hmm. it a period piece, because then you could still have him be, like, a chauvinist pig. Yeah, they should go stuff. back to that. Yeah. Give, it, give him, like, all the, like, whack... You give him like the Havana syndrome gun and stuff. Yeah. Give him like sixties yeah. spy tech. Yeah. He has like a uh like an electric zapper hand. Yeah, but if sure. I had to choose between like period piece bond, which would be if they gotta do something, or Jagneesh Bond. Oh. It's Jagneesh. Yeah, <laughs> let Raj Muli direct it. <laughs> that would be, tight. be sick. He loves yeah. American cinema. Yeah. And just have like the little pot bellied Indian dude doing like backflips and shit. <laughs> and and instead CQCing people. <laughs> instead of an Aston Martin, he has like a two dirt bikes with a with a van body <laughs> welded onto it. <laughs> he has one of those like three wheeled dirt bikes with like a car on it. <laughs> yeah, and just like every woman just can't resist. Him. He's so in hot. typical James Bond fashion. Yeah, he smells like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And yeah, he's just he's fucking like beautiful like Chinese girls. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he goes up to a Chinese girl and he goes, "Open your eye." And he like pick, peels it open. <laughs> <laughs> you are <laughs> You are so beautiful. <laughs> and then yeah, they fuck like on a beach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They fuck like on a <clears throat> they fuck in a car in in Tokyo. Yeah, in his little van thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in Prague. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has yeah. to like infiltrate like a he, German sex party. Yeah, he goes to uh, Buda- Budapest <laughs> yeah. to infiltrate. Uh, yeah, a fucking a- action movies have like eight locations. Always, well, especially those ones. London, yeah, Budapest, yeah. Prague, Prague, um, Hong Kong. Hong Kong I feel like shows up a lot. Yeah, and then uh, um, the Krem- the Kremlin, the Kremlin. Yeah. yeah, and I mean some new ones will do like you know Dubai or something like that. Yeah, Mission Impossible will hit Dubai. Maybe that's just Mission Impossible. I've seen it before though. Yeah, yeah, they love going, and they always put it in big white text. Yeah, that fills the screen. Dubai. It would it would be cool if just for once Jagneesh Bondi would come to some like. Um, Kind of industrial shithole like Edmonton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to, to set the mall. It, yeah, he goes to interrupt the like extortion ring. <laughs> He's dealing with the extortion ring, <laughs> and it goes way. And let me tell you, beautiful, it goes way deeper than you think. <laughs> 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 but he's also like wandering through the mall, like walking into women's change rooms. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's using like spy gadgets to get into women's change rooms. <laughs> yeah, like cloaking devices and shit. <laughs> like, oh he's got my. like the <laughs> he's got the like men in black. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> yeah, there's like a whole like five minute thing of him like you know opening a carbon fiber briefcase and assembling a like little device thing, yeah. sending off a little drone, and it's like. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the change room. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like going to where like to the mission, but it makes like a pit stop like through the change room. <laughs> yeah, he has like special glasses that have like a little like whoosh, like monitor shoot down, yeah. and he's doing a parkour chase yeah, yeah. while with one eye watching the women's change room. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no. he has like a, a small pill capsule that like is just full of like date rape pills, <laughs> and, like in his tooth, and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> he, like, he does like a little, he like flicks it off like three different things, and it lands in a drink. Yeah, <laughs> she takes it willingly. Yeah. Like, Here, put out your tongue. <laughs> 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 yeah, the the like the the final enemy like crime boss is just like a, <clears throat> it's like a beautiful Caribbean woman. Yeah. Who he has to seduce? Yeah, yeah. And he does it instantly. Yeah, not hard at all. <laughs> yeah. It's so easy for, for Jake Nish Bondi. <laughs> I'm picturing like, like a uh, like the most like plump, like pleasant looking man. Yeah. Have you ever seen that guy on TikTok who he's an Indian guy who was addicted to fizzy drinks? 
No. He's awesome. Nice. He he just he was a couple of years ago he decided he was too addicted to fizzy drinks. Mm-hmm. So he's gonna stop drinking fizzy drinks. Okay. So he yeah. would just post like every day, like this is day two forty two, no fizzy drink, I'm feeling very good. <laughs> and he's just this like plump, yeah, like balding Indian mm-hmm. guy with yeah. a very like pleasant smile. Nice. And that's what I'm picturing. Is yeah. like, yeah, no fizzy drink. Yeah. That, yeah when yeah. he orders his they're like, What do you want? He's like Water, not fizzy. <laughs> <laughs> not fizzy. <laughs> no fizzy drink. Yeah, he can't. Uh, <coughs> he can't drink because he gets a little handsy when he drinks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's ordering a Virgin Shirley Temple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with like uh, M in his ear, being like, Jack Nish, you can't. You know you what happens when you drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, what's the tech guy Q? Q. Q is like yeah. a. Like Silicon Valley, like dweeb, yeah, like a low T Silicon Valley, like loser, yeah, who's like, uh, Jake Meat, Jake Niche, uh, Do- Dogecoin is going up. I would recommend investing while you're on the mission. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do like, not worry, buy, <laughs> 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 buy it all. <laughs> that would rule. I'd watch that, yeah, I'd watch that. I'd, I haven't seen the like the last like four James Bond movies, um. No, neither have I. I think I've only seen Casino Royale and whatever the one after that. Daniel Craig's done, right? <laughs> yeah. Who's the and guy? he really has, like, resting, like, <clears throat> blue steel face. Yeah. Like, the whole time he's doing the sort of, like... Like, I think that might just be his face, that he's permanently doing blue steel. <clears throat> well, yeah. Um, it's because, like, I think we've said this before, but every British person is who is famous... Yeah. Is the o- those are the only attractive people in England. Yeah, but he's, like... Like, I'm not saying he's unattractive, but he's sort of, like, attractive in a, like, weird, off-putting way. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, he looks yeah. weird. He looks like a dancer. Yeah. He looks like he's, like, a dance teacher. But he's kind of got that, like, it's, like, I don't think it's plastic surgery, but you know how people, like, when they're really into plastic surgery, yeah. it's, like, the individual parts will yes. kind of look like, you know, what somebody might want. Yes. But together, it it's, looks fucked up. It's off, yeah. Like, he's got kind of got that, where, like, all his features are right. Yeah. But it just combines to be, like, weird. He looks like every time I have to make a character in a video game. Yeah. I fuck it up. And it's like, all right, I'm going to max out the chin. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I always think I'm going to make, like, a cool, handsome guy. Yeah. And then I look, look at it, and I'm like, God, what the fuck happened? Like, <laughs> Yeah, I can't help putting the sliders all the way. Yeah. One way or another. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it always looks stupid as yeah. fuck. They always look like they always come out looking like white Marcellus Wallace. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I did like my Gunst in Elden Ring. Gunst is cool. He looked good. Yeah. But he all had a lot of maxed sliders. <laughs> but <laughs> I wish I could max my I wish I had big ass cheekbones. If I was ever gonna get plastic surgery, it'd be big cheekbones. Yeah. It's like bogged and off cheekbones. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would bog up. Bog. Big cute, big kissable lips. Get bog pilled. Yeah, yeah. I would bog up and then uh, bring a gun to city hall as a joke. As a joke. <clears throat> as a goof. Oh, and in other cinema news, it's so over for women. Oh, because <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Barbie. <laughs> Y'all had a good run, but I apologize. It's done for you it's... guys. Total goose victory. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 I mean, you should have known when you put the goose in the movie. Yeah. If you're putting the goose in, like, a prestige movie that's going to try to get yeah. noms. It's going to be him. He's going to steal the spotlight, dude. Did you see Hillary Clinton was getting in on it? No. With, like, the most pathetic tweet I've ever seen. What did she say? Let me uh, let me just pull it up <laughs> so I don't uh, mis- <laughs> misinform <laughs> anybody here. But it was... Um, the goose wins, dude. Unbelievably lame. <clears throat> the goose wins. Yeah. <laughs> Who's shocked? Not me. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, from the part of that movie I watched, he was like the best part. If you didn't want him to win, you know what you should have cast as Ken? Chumley. Yeah, somebody who's not as uh, cool and charismatic as the goose. Cast Chumley as because uh, you know he's going to do a better job than cast some woman. Rick Harrison from Pawn Stars as Ken. Yeah, if you want, if you don't want the show stolen, if you don't want to get overshadowed. Yeah, because the goose. The only reason I'd consider watching Barbie is because of the goose. Yeah, that's why I did. Yeah. Um. Damn, I thought I liked it. Okay, but it was basically like, oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. Um, <clears throat> so Hillary Clinton, Greta and Margot, while it can sting to win the box office but not take home the oh gold, your millions of fans love you. You are both so much more than Knuff. Hashtag Hillary Barbie. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. 
like unfathomably lame. Oh my god! <laughs> like, <clears throat> I would like delete the the master file of the movie after I saw that. Like I like how she's still like seven years later. It's like you won box office, but you didn't get the gold. You didn't get it. <laughs> and it's also like Ryan Gosling got nominated in the men's category. Yeah. So it would have to be some other woman who gets booted to put Margot Robbie in there. Yeah. Yeah. It means that it, on, honestly, all that means is that Mark Robbie didn't do a good, good enough job. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> I mean, because everybody knows that the Oscars are one hundred percent objective and accurate, and the winners of those and the nominees are always the best of the it's year. It's always the best, so she just didn't do a good enough job. Yeah, it's always everything that gets nominated for an Oscar <laughs> is always good. Yeah, that's why that Deaf Girl movie was the best movie of the year. Yeah, and, and that's everybody why, agrees and that's loves why it. Everywhere, all the, everywhere, all at once is good. Yeah, <laughs> it's it won an not, Oscar because it, it won an Oscar. They wouldn't give an Oscar to a movie that wasn't the best movie of the year. These guys are professionals. It's their whole job. Yeah, is to say what movie's best. Say what movie's best. <laughs> have non consensual sex with children and uh, say what movie is the best one. <laughs> yeah, eat a child. Say what's the best movie. Yeah, and then uh, date a sixteen year old. And this year, Margot Robbie, she stunk. It's official, folks. She did bad. She, <laughs> she didn't did get the bad. nom. Same with Greta Gerwig. <laughs> bad, mo- she, bad director. She did a bad job. Stick to acting, Greta. <laughs> it's not. It's not Gosling's fault. <laughs> It's not the goose's fault you did such a bad job. That's yeah. There's just and and Margot should know because women are vicious. Yeah. That there's just there was five other more hungry women out there. More beautiful, talented women. It's honestly it's a hotness contest yeah. and Margot didn't win. She tried her best <laughs> and she failed. <laughs> Kathy Bates is winning. This year. <laughs> yeah, I actually have no idea who who else got nominated. I don't give a fuck. I just saw the Hillary thing going around. It's like damn. God damn. <laughs> I would I would like instantly. Uh, yeah, like go to every theater and like burn the copies of the film. Be like, it's done. It's done. Sorry, we hashtag this Hillary up. Barbie. Hashtag Hillary Barbie. She's still like trying to, um, like be somewhat like internet conscious, which is so fucking sad. Yeah. Hashtag Hillary Barbie. Hashtag Hillary Barbie. Who's gonna use that? Make sure to bar be at the polls. Make sure to to uh, to <laughs> bar be at the <laughs> polls. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see what else people are posting in that hashtag. That's yeah. Who, who yeah, who's posting in the hashtag Hillary Barbie? A lot of people were real chapped about it. Who gives? A, I, I just it's like you still care about the Oscars. Oh, oh no, the the pedophile job didn't like my movie. Okay, mm, everyone's just making fun of her. To be honest. Okay, well that's good. Nope, nobody. That's good because uh, like. Uh, I mean, tr- truth be told, it's like, oh, no. <clears throat> like, uh, uh-oh, pedophile of the workplace doesn't like the, the art I made. Yeah. It's like, well, that's fine. Yeah. Honestly, I think having, like, a Hollywood endorsement in 2024 is, like, a bad sign. <clears throat> yeah. I think that's a rough sign. That makes me want to look deep into it. If we got nominated for an Oscar, would you um, boycott? I would send an Indi- an Indian guy. Did you send them a bunch of threatening emails? <laughs> yeah. I would send them a, a First Nations woman like Marlon Brando. Yeah. To go talk about how men's rights are being crushed in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a movie. <laughs> yeah. okay, oh, Canada. Talk about how wokeism and inflation <laughs> are ruining Canada. A First Nations woman going up and being like, For, uh, Canada was once my native land, and now they have decided to target men's rights. The only country where it's harder to be a man than Canada is Ghana, is where they hunt Ghana. monkeys with a spear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what I do. If we got an Oscar nom, yeah, I definitely wouldn't go. Maybe one day they'll, one day those idiots will finally open up a podcast nomination. Best pod. Best pod. You know what, you know what I just learned about that is also gay? What? Uh, have you heard of the Streamies? Uh, oh, who... Uh, Yes. I feel like there was one who, I think it was Norm MacDonald, once yes. showed up at a streamies yes, red carpet and was, just had no clue who anyone and was. And made fun of the, the whole thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was very funny. Maybe we'll get on for a streamy for most original podcast set. <laughs> 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 most uh, racist podcast. Yeah. Yeah, that Norm clip is really funny. Cause yeah. He, yeah, as a... As a I don't, maybe not known to the guys, but as a famous in my personal life, uh, Lonely Island hater. Yeah. As a guy who thinks Andy Samberg sucks and the Lonely Island is gay. Yeah. Uh, that clip where he's just being very mean to them uh, is so funny. Yeah, it's been a long time <clears throat> since I saw or thought about the stream. I actually just saw that Norm clip 
semi recently again. Oh, okay. And uh, there's a bit where he's talking to the Lonely Island, and he's yeah. like, "So how do you come up with a name? <laughs> Where'd you figure out what you're gonna call it?" And then they it they talked for like three minutes, and he's like, "Man, I wish I had a time machine." And they were like, "Why? So you could go back and kill Hitler?" And he's like, "No, so I could unask that fucking question." <laughs> <laughs> Uh yeah, they kind of st- uh, yeah. Saturday Night Live is just gay zone. Yeah, gay bozo. Just town. manufactures losers. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like I mean now, Kyle Mooney and like uh, Beck Bennett are really funny. But I feel like they took Kyle Mooney from doing good shit. Yes. and like locked him up for a few years. Yes, he, he he's not. Do- he hasn't done anything like even. He he just did his like weird Fritzel movie yeah I, I yeah nothing he's done on snl has been like as funny as the shit he was doing with like good neighbor yeah or when he was doing his r- retard guy man on the street <laughs> <laughs> yeah like all that shit all that shit rules yeah but yeah um and like uh as, as much as like his his fans can get like crazy like tim robinson is pretty good was he on snl yeah i think he is still really yeah Oh, okay. Um, which is I haven't like, watched it in so long. Every now and again, I'll see a clip and I'll just be like, "God damn!" Holy shit, dude! Yeah. Holy fuck! Yeah. Uh oh, um, this stinks. <laughs> oh, be <laughs> you. <laughs> 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 Honestly, I think um, you know what's crazy is I think Monday Night Raw is like further ahead culturally than SNL now. Yeah. Monday Night Raw just signed a deal with Netflix. I saw that. Fucking Vince cashing it in, dude. He knows. He knows. <laughs> <laughs> he's no one's watching yeah. network TV. Yeah, he knows. He's like, it's time to go. We got to get on Netflix. Yeah, he's which is get, huge. He's gonna get paid. I'm gonna be watching it. Yeah. Oh, if they put the backlog on, oh my god. Yeah, I wonder if they're still gonna keep WWE Plus or whatever. Yeah, I don't know if they're putting like backlog Monday Night Raw on Netflix. Yeah. Sorry, not doing a pod anymore. Yeah. I'm watching Raw all day. <laughs> Sorry yeah, we'll guys, become it's become a fun. WWE watching pod. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> watching, <laughs> where we just go, yeah, nice. Yeah. And we won't actually like show any of the WWE because that would be copyright infringement. Yeah, and we would never. Yeah, we would never infringe on any type of intellectual property. No, we were, we're very respectful <laughs> <laughs> and original. <laughs> and uh, but it would just be us watching it and be like, nice. What move is that? Pile uh, driver. Yeah, cool. yeah. Oh, oh, Lita's about to almost take <laughs> her shirt off. Oh, she got interrupted. Stacy Keebler. <laughs> <laughs> boing, boing, boing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's like it's more like over culturally uh, ahead than like uh, Saturday Night Live. Like Saturday Night Live, as far as I know, isn't on anything. Uh, I mean, it's on like, like NBC. NBC. Uh, NBC's like on Saturday nights, right? But like I, like NBC probably has their own like gay ass streaming service like NBC Plus or something. They might be Peacock. <clears throat> oh, that would make sense. Yeah, but like, it's over. I think I hope their viewership like fully falls off this year. I mean, it probably has already. Gra- I think gradually it's fallen off really bad. I mean, I think it's just as old people die. Yeah, nobody replaces them getting their uh, cable subscriptions. Yeah, well, and when you set it up to have an audience of, like, hyper-reactionary, like, gay dorks, yeah, then having, like, a Hamas sketch is really going to... Oh, right, I forgot them. about that. Yeah. The infamous Chalamet incident. Yeah, yeah. it's like, that's going to alienate everything. Yeah, man, wild how people get, like, so pissed about shit for, like, a week yeah. that it's just totally forgotten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's n- it shouldn't be because it's all like psychic damage in some way. I think the new one I'm seeing is that uh, the Taylor Swift fans, who are one of the most psychotic fan bases, are real riled up. About some guy was making AI porn of her. <laughs> <laughs> hey Taylor Swift fans, I got bad news. That's been happening for 15 years. Uh, yeah, of her and like um like um uh, what's the, the fucking football team? The Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah, of her and like. Painted up and stuff, getting like groped by a million guys <laughs> at a Kansas City Chiefs game, <laughs> and there are all these people being like, "It is never okay to sexualize women." <laughs> <laughs> never. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Huh. That's great. <laughs> uh, that's that's also f- fucked up because like, uh, fake porn of people has been happening. Since the invention of Photoshop, yeah. Since we, I, when I was like twelve, one of the first things yeah. I ever like found online was like pictures of celebrities crudely photoshopped onto like a naked yeah. person. It's just gotten slightly better now. Yeah, but it's still it's, just it that. still looks like a cartoon. It looks but. fucking crazy. Like if you're jacking off to that, you're insane. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you're crazy. <laughs> Honestly, it'd be kind of cool if somebody made deep fake porn of me. <laughs> 
You'd like that? Be like, damn, so that's what it'd be like. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what sex is. <laughs> that's how I'd look if I had sex. With Taylor Swift hmm. at a Chiefs game. Whoa. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Download. <laughs> Download. Save. Send. Hey, Mom, <laughs> guess what? <laughs> this is me. Yeah, that's that's modern day taxi driver. <laughs> Dear yeah. Mom and Dad, I had sex with a celebrity last night. Attached is the video. <laughs> Here is proof. <laughs> I know you always thought I was a loser, but here's me having sex with Taylor Swift. <laughs> Attached is evidence, and then it's that it's a yeah it's a deep fake of you, and then a picture of you with a big mallet, <laughs> and then you reply another one, and you go, "Whoops, sorry, that last one was meant for City Hall." Mm-hmm. That's like the craziest guy on the planet, bailing like public officials, pictures of you with a big cartoon mallet, <laughs> and then sending your parents deep fake part of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Dear mom and dad, I hope this finds you well. I've been doing great. I've been having sex with uh, Emma Stone. Emma Stone. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> Often. <laughs> and well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If you're the t- if you were, yeah, don't, definitely do not be jacking off to celebrity uh like fake porn. Not because it's unethical, because yeah. it's weird. It is weird. <laughs> it's really weird. I mean, you know there's at least one guy. Oh, there's tons of guys. Tons of guys. Yeah. Every celebrity that has like a subreddit, yeah. it's all that. Right. It's all that. Yeah. Uh, so but the yeah. Taylor Swift fans, they don't like it. Well. They're not They're not too happy with the situation. <laughs> well, well, Taylor Swift fans, you know, sometimes- Those uh, women should never be sexualized. <laughs> 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 Sexualization, not mm. even once. Not even, not cool. <laughs> not cool. <okay. laughs> Taylor Swift fans, sometimes, um, sometimes you got to let a couple things slide because you're not, you can't. Yeah, I mean, knowing them, they're probably gonna like dox and murder the guy who did it. Yeah, yeah. Taylor Swift fans are weird though because it's it's all like millennial women. Yeah, it's like millennial women. Um, Actually, yeah, they're not gonna do- they're, they might dox. They're not gonna kill them. No, they're not gonna do anything. So I feel like they're all like the people who um, can't make a phone call due to social anxiety. It's but it's, they're all posting like we're gonna fucking kill you. It's, it's fibro chicks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. It's if my fibro dies down, I'm gonna <laughs> fucking kill you. Yeah, remember that? Remember that girl we watched uh, a couple months ago who who went to a Taylor Swift concert. Uh, with her like she was showing her like mask setup and all the things. Oh. she had to it's that. Yeah, that that's. That's like a cross section of the Taylor Swift fan club. Yeah, they're like nutcases, though. Yeah, because like, all her like, music it's is like about QAnon for fibro girls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're like Taylor's sending coded messages that actually she's a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, like uh, yeah, because to date me, all the music is like uh, every Taylor Swift <laughs> song is like nothing is ever my fault, <laughs> <laughs> and the world is out to get me. Yeah, because I'm a girl. I'm a girl. I'm just a sweet little perfect girl, and the world is trying to. Kill me, yeah. And and fibro girls hear that and they're like, finally, yeah, music for guys like me. <laughs> <laughs> finally, some for guys like me. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, what is it? You, you show a Taylor Swift girl like, uh, uh, uh fucking like typo negative. They'd, yeah, they'd, they'd, they'd have a, like a panic attack. It'd break them spiritually. They'd be like, what? It's not cool. This isn't cool. This is weird. <laughs> yeah, this is creepy. This music's weird and creepy. <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> it's like, no, actually, this is cool. This is what, this is more accurately what life is. Yeah. Worshipping goth women and saying, can I please let me light your cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what you're going to encounter more than, uh, yeah, that's, well, Taylor Swift's like fostered that. Her whole, every album is about like, she had a reputation like just eight years ago for like, if she broke up with a guy, she wrote a song about him. Yeah. And usually the song was like, I'm a victim in some capacity. I wonder if she's going to do a football one in like six months. Definitely. It'll be called football, but it'll be actually a metaphor for a breakup. Yeah. <laughs> She'll just cover uh, the band American Football. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She'll sing all their Midwest emo music. But yeah, you know, actually we're big Swifties, so yeah, don't don't worry about us. We love. Don't this. worry about it. We'll be dating her in in a couple of years. Yeah, we'll have her Taylor Swift on the show. Um, to but Taylor Swift will come on and she'll uh, we'll show her Reddit porn. Show that'll be our clickbait. Showing Taylor Swift Reddit porn. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, she'll come on and we'll we'll um find some Reddit porn that's like weirder than the stuffy fucking people. <laughs> yeah. 
do like a yeah like the zoo file reddit or whatever yeah yeah what do you yeah. think about that taylor what do you think about uh, <laughs> sex with dogs though? you're a white girl <laughs> yeah. sex with dogs you do that or what yeah <laughs> Yeah, and, uh, it'll be big. It'll be so big. Yeah, it'll be huge for the guys. Um, yeah, we're a couple Swifties though, so don't worry about us. Oh, don't worry about us, pal. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't think. Oh, did you also see a Edmont- like a uh, Edmonton fire chief got caught with like a bunch of child porn? I, you mentioned it the other day. Yeah. So funny. Damn. Yeah, Edmonton uh, public service. Not looking so good right now. You should never ever respect. Well, they're called a public servant. Yeah. You got to remember that. Yeah. Fireman, oh, it's a hero. No, it's not. Yeah, he's just some guy with a bunch of fire, child porn. <laughs> <laughs> Firemen aren't heroes. They're guys who look at <laughs> naked children, okay? <laughs> Which, oh, honestly, yeah, I think, like, uh, firefighting in particular, I think is just, like, the, the army for guys who don't like flying. Uh, Yeah, guys couldn't quite get into the army. Yeah, who are, like, too racist for the army. They ain't never done nothing for me. Literally no, <laughs> <laughs> literally no. Yeah, I've never, yeah. ever has my life been improved by a fireman. Well, they never really get the shit. Cops get a lot of shit, but everyone just gives firemen a pass. Houses burn down constantly, <laughs> and it's like, to be fair, I don't think I, I think we should have the standard. If your whole job is going to be like I'm the fire guy, yeah, you should your 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 rate of success should be more dictated on how many houses we stopped from burning down instead of like yeah we dealt with it. Yeah. We put the fire out. Job done. It's like, well, that's kind of... Instead of how much child porn you can fit on your phone. Yeah, that's what it actually is. <laughs> <laughs> how, many, how many naked kids Just can you look at? average fire chief. <laughs> I'm going to start thinking that, and I'm going to publicize that. That uh, Yeah, I'm going to start uh, like talking about how, yeah, firemen, mostly it's a job for pedophiles. Is he going to the clink? Probably. Hmm. But I think as of right Getting now, he's still employed. a $400 fine. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna get he's gonna get about forty eight hours in prison, yeah, and a two hundred fifty dollar fine, and then it will be releasing. He he'll have a job. Get some community service. Yeah, and they'll be saying yeah he'll he'll go uh, um, brush homeless people's teeth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and brushing homeless people's teeth as community service. I would ask that. Maybe I'll do. Maybe I'll go to court about my. Uh, my ticket and say if I go and brush like 80 homeless people's teeth can I get out of the ticket just bring it do it do it beforehand and be like actually judge I've already done my community service and then yeah show, look show you brush <laughs> <laughs> doing it like a dog where you're like standing behind them <laughs> <laughs> they have like peanut butter on their nose so they're distracted <laughs> yeah yeah I have them <laughs> I'm hosing them they're naked outside I'm hosing them down mm-hmm. showering them you know what I was thinking about the other day was bum fights you remember bum fights oh yeah Bone fights rocks. They should they should bring that back. Well, they have street beefs. I guess I guess now it's just there's like a million accounts out there that just show it happening. Yeah, it's not so without, much like without anybody getting paid. Yeah. Yeah. Well, street beefs is like very close to bum fights. That's it's like they're not quite bums. They're not all homeless. It's like street beefs is like here's a here's a manager of a Chili's fighting uh like a, a local crackhead. Yeah. And it's like well that's pretty good. Yeah. There's there's actually there's a bunch of those. Yeah, people yeah. getting a big fight at yeah. the uh, Arby's or whatever. <laughs> oh, there's tons of yeah, like just homeless people fighting. Yeah. Yeah, you, yeah. if you want to see homeless people fight, it's just not as like structured. You're right. And I it guess, usually yeah. the video like bum fights was like taped. Yeah. And like planned. Mm-hmm. But like now what you find is like the video starts like a minute into the fight. Yeah. And it's full of like um in the most polite way, it's full of black teenagers <laughs> <laughs> yelling. <laughs> <laughs> Which is still pretty good, though. Yeah, it's still good. I like watching fighting. But yeah, I, I watch quite a few of those. I guess we. I guess the time for bum fights has passed. We could bring it back because now it's just it's everywhere. Yeah, every every bum is fighting now. Yeah, on these streets, <laughs> it's a fight every day. On these streets. Yeah, uh, yeah. But yeah, if you're gonna shoot something up, uh, make a tape. Be a professional about it. Make a tape. Yeah, make a tape that everyone can watch later. And and lay out your intentions. So we, so we can know what's going on. Yeah. Well, you know what, I got to say, you know who needs to do something like this? Who? A Chinese guy. Any one, any one of them? It's just it's been a while. To lay out. Oh, oh, a shooting. Yeah, they don't I do thought it you meant, too like, much. They need to make a tape. I was like, it just. Well, they when they do, <laughs> they need to make a tape. But, like, uh, I, I thought like you were saying like Chinese people just need to kind of explain what they've been doing <laughs> for the last little while. Well, that wouldn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> like, but I feel like they've been slacking. They haven't had a guy freak out in a minute. Yeah, I know they do have a lot of incels. What are they doing? I think they're just <laughs> seething. <laughs> they're just seething. Yeah, they're just sitting there. Like, I've heard a lot of Chinese people claim yeah. that they can't get laid because of 
being Chinese. Yeah, their Chinese ness. Yeah, I see I that. Mean, like I guess Elliot Roger was half Chinese. He was what Hapa? Hapa. Yeah, he was. <laughs> what is that? Half Chinese and half white. Oh, okay. I think it's like half Asian parentage. Oh, okay. And white or something. I don't. I don't no. entirely know what the acronym means. Who cares? Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Chinese. I I know they're. I think it's soon. Yeah, it's coming. Because I I've, I keep seeing a lot of posts. Well, because now we got Muslim dudes doing anti wokeism, inflation, multiculturalism, <laughs> and multiculturalism. I did that was so funny too. In his tape, he was like, he was like, brothers, we have to understand that we are all, we as immigrants need to play by Canada's rules. We are coming to this country. We need to give it the best we can. And that's funny to say before you sh- attempt a terrorist attack. Yeah, I thought that. <laughs> I, I the more I saw, we of have this to guy, play by the rules. <laughs> <laughs> the more I saw of this guy, the more I I was like, I like how you think, oh brother. <laughs> Yeah, it's just cool how like incoherent it is and hard yeah. to Yeah, it did feel like, like he draw conclusions he, from. He made the tape to kind of try to explain it. Yeah. But I think he didn't even I think he was just pissed. Yeah. It's like me. If I had to make <clears> a tape, it'd be like my tape would be insane. It'd be like, I oh, fucking four hundred dollars speeding ticket, we need to fucking take to get rid of this. This shit sucks. I'm fucking sick of this. They didn't get gravel on the road, so we need to fight back against the fucking <laughs> municipal gravel problem and the fucking ice and we live in snow and it's fucking cold. I'm burning fucking more gas. Like my tape would make no sense. Yeah. So people would watch it and be like, Is he Muslim? <laughs> <laughs> people would watch my tape and be like, What is this guy Muslim? This guy Muslim or something? <laughs> Yeah. I hear he says oil. Is he talking about? Is he Muslim? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I probably would get racial in my tape. <coughs> like Chinese guys need to start doing more shootings, so yeah. we can see what they're up to. <laughs> we need to fight back against Chinese people not shooting. <laughs> yeah. For the purpose of this shooting, I am Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I did like that he just went in there because that's all I. Fa- that's literally all I dream about is like going into city hall, not killing anyone, but like having a gun and just being like, "Who's? I need help." Yeah. Who's going to ha- deal with me? Yeah, who's going to avoid this ticket? <laughs> 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 Maybe I will uh, Photoshop myself with a big cartoon like mallet. Yeah. And email it with my alt email. I feel like they'll send that shit to the police. A big mallet? Yeah. That's, not, that's <laughs> legal. <laughs> you have a SWAT team bursting in through your walls. <laughs> yeah, do you have a license for that mallet? That big cartoon <laughs> bug squisher? Yeah, they'll, they'll drive a bear cat through your walls. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, if I photoshopped it, I could even just say, like, this is fake BTW, but this is the type of guy you'd be fucking with. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is fake BTWs. Yeah. But you might f- want to reconsider. <laughs> I should have gone the, like, the, the like, uh, furry over text or, like, anime guy over text. Like, yeah. like, like, uh, uh, like brackets like growls at you <laughs> you do not know who you're messing with yeah my eyes start to glow <laughs> i should have yeah. done that that would like between so... two asterisks like yeah. my eyes start to glow <laughs> red with anger yeah <laughs> my veins are bulging out of my forehead and cock yeah <laughs> i should have included in asterisk rapes you <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. rapes you. Dealt <coughs> rapes you. Yeah, dealt with them right then and there. Uh, well, I don't really have too much else on the dock. And, mm. Puff it on that flavorless vape today. Flavorless, eh? Flavorless. Damn. Yeah, it goes with everything. It goes with everything. It's like a good purse. Yeah. It's like a good <coughs> purse. It'll go with everything. It'll go with everything. We should get out. We should get outfits after this. <laughs> Do you want to go buy outfits? Go get yeah. Go get some cool outfits. <laughs> some silky shirts. Yeah. Some gowns. Yeah, we should get gold, gold and blue shirts. <laughs> <laughs> and like purple silk pants. Yeah. Yeah. And we should just go chill. <laughs> go hang and go hang out at the mall. <laughs> Try to pick up some babes. <laughs> yeah. Try to get baby girls at the mall. We should get. Uh, have you ever met like a suit guy? A suit guy. Yeah. Um. Not really. No. Like a guy who like wears a suit constantly. Yeah. I know a few. Yeah. It really sucks. Do they work in like suit jobs? Not. Not really. Because I have thought in the past it would be cool if I got into suits. You, you would just do it like being some shitty guy who doesn't need to wear a suit. I like feel a, like you'd get a lot more like respect in the world. Um, not from me. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody would assume you're a businessman until they see you at your job in a suit, and they're like, "What the fuck is that <laughs> you? you fucking loser!" <laughs> yeah, you know, like the guys I know who are in suits don't need to be in suits. Okay, they're just they don't have oh, okay. they don't have like suit jobs really. Hmm. They have like formal jobs, yeah, but a suit is way too much. I see. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like you just wear like a just get some like chill guy, like normal cool, get like black pants. Right. Maybe a maybe a blazer. <laughs> we should start doing the show in suits. 
Yeah. Dress we should do the show dressed like Howard Ratner. How does, he, how does he dress? Like a leather blazer with like a yellow. Oh, shirt. right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big ass pants and like Gucci shoes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I did. I, when I when I worked at the car dealership for that little while, mm-hmm. I did go to Valley Village and like get like a Howard Ratner ass wardrobe okay. to wear every day. <laughs> and I, I was like. To get into the the role. Well, I just thought it would be funny. a sleazy funny car guy. Because they said like it's like uh, formal wear. Like Weren't you a, on the phones? Yeah, I was in the back and <laughs> on an office. Like on the phones, like scamming. But I think you can tell in the tenor of somebody's voice if they're in a suit or not. Oh yeah, it um, gave me confidence. Yeah, and I would go out and greet people to try to like grease them up to steal their car. Yeah, even looking completely retarded. Yeah, leather blazer. <laughs> <laughs> leather had, blazer, leather pants. I had a suede, bl- black suede blazer. <laughs> <laughs> it like didn't like the sleeves were too short. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, yeah. But we, yeah, we should get some suits for the show because that's something that nobody's ever done before. Lex Friedman. Yeah. Oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> Lex Friedman. Damn it. Yeah. You know we should just not do a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimate way to do an original podcast is to not do one. Yeah. Yeah. But he wears a black suit. And we could wear like a purple and or yellow like, suit. Yeah. Gray. <clears throat> red. Blue. Navy. We should just dress like Willy Wonka lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> red tie, black shirt. Yeah. Uh, we'll both be plump. Yeah. Plump little munchkins. Plump, plump little lesbos. <laughs> doing a plump po- little <laughs> little put little box munchers. Yeah. <laughs> doing doing a pod. Pl- a couple plump little pussy hounds. Mm-hmm. We should rename the show Plump Little Pussy Hounds. Plump little pee hounds. We're de- we're desperate for pee. Yeah. Desperate. For <laughs> pee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the the new Indian James Bond. It's desperate for pee. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> desperate for pee. Yeah, and the movie could just not have any um like action at all. Actually, no, it <laughs> could be him. It could be ninety minutes of him like hitting on girls. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Yeah, desperate for pee. Desperate for pee. <laughs> <laughs> License to get pee. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know I have a license? License to rape? Double <laughs> <laughs> seven license to rape. <laughs> <laughs> license, l- license to comment. Yeah. <laughs> to, yeah. To sexually harass in the comments. <laughs> license to cyberstalk. I have a license to call. <laughs> Li- license to redeem. <laughs> 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 yeah, he's just doing phone scams. <laughs> you need to send me fifteen hundred dollars in Walmart cards. <laughs> I honestly, you know those guys who like uh, they fuck with like scammers. Yeah, I think that's gay. Yeah, I think I like the Deus Ex ones. Those ones are funny. <laughs> yeah, but the dudes who actually are like, uh, I'm, I'm gonna bring down this organization. Oh. I hate these people. Yeah, it's like the only people they're targeting is old people who, frankly, like deserve it. Uh, yeah. I mean, if you send two thousand dollars in gift cards to a, a PO box yeah. in um in New Delhi, New Delhi, yeah, you're kind of asking for it. Yeah, like I was straight yeah. up like uh uh, it, and it's not even like an internet knowledge thing. Yeah, it's like. And you ask anyone, like, I'm sorry, you want me to pay a bill with Amazon <laughs> gift cards? <laughs> How the fuck does that work? Yeah. Like, you should, it's just an intelligence thing. Yeah. yeah. It's not, like, there's no, like, Those tech Indian knowledge. guys kind of deserve it more. They need it, man. <laughs> <laughs> they need it bad. They're out there hustling. <laughs> yeah. They're out there abusing the elderly, which we always like. Though I, I do like the Deus Ex sound. Those are ones. good, yeah. Like, what, do you work for Unatco? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are good. <laughs> what do you know about the bomb? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, those Excuse are good. Excuse me, what? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, those ones are good. But, like, quite frankly, like, if, yeah, the Indian guys probably need the Amazon cards more than Grandma does. Mm-hmm. And also, they're working hard for it. They're making calls every day. Yeah, they're clocking in. They're hustling. <clears throat> yeah, they deserve that shit. Because you can tell, like, my, I don't think my grandpa's stupid. You know, if someone called my grandpa and was like, "Uh, hey, you owe the Nigerian government through through nine thousand dollars, yeah, and you have to pay it back in in uh, prepaid uh, visas, right?" My grandpa would be like, "What? What? <laughs> no." <laughs> Send me a letter then. Yeah. E- mail me something then. <laughs> <laughs> come say it to my face. Yeah, my grandpa would be like, oh, really? Tough guy. <laughs> Why don't you come down to my house? And he would give him his address. <laughs> He'd be like, come down here and say it to my fucking face. <laughs> but he definitely wouldn't go buy gift cards. No. No. <laughs> yeah, and if you do with it, it's your own fault. Yeah, my grandpa would be like, yo, you think you're tough? I was a boxer. <laughs> I'd, come, I'd kick you six ways from Sunday, pal. Yeah. Get down here. Yeah. 
My grandpa is um, Frank Costello. Frank Costello. You know, you in sound the, like a guinea. In the old <laughs> days. <laughs> no guinea would get on the phone with a guy like me. <laughs> Nobody would even try to take my money. Back in 1941, yeah. white guys just had money. <laughs> no one ever tried to take it. It was just the way it was. Until these fucking guineas came over. Yeah. And they invented scamming. Yeah. Scamming's been around forever. No, the yeah. Indians are just killing it. No, yeah, they're the new kings. <laughs> new kings of scamming. New kings of scamming. New kings of scamming. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. New Netflix doc coming out. Pro India. Well, well, fellas, we to wrap this one up. Yeah, I think was, we should just reiterate that we are not mad. No, sorry. At all the hate we've been getting online. Yeah, all the haters and trolls. The haters <laughs> is <laughs> <laughs> real funny. That's guys. my reaction. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. You think you can joke with me on the internet? Yeah. Guess what? I'm not mad at all. Don't give a shit. I'm whatever the opposite of mad is. I'm laughing. Happy. I'm gay. Yeah. I'm gaily, <laughs> gaily enjoying it. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Alright, later fellas.